Hi friends, Michelle here with Epicurean Delights, and I don't know about you, but for me, versatility is the name of the game. And today I'm gonna to show you how to roast red tomatoes to create a savory sauce and a delicious compound butter. Let's get started. I love the versatility of this recipe because not only can I use it for a delicious, rich sauce on my homemade pasta, but you can also use it as a compound butter. So you can put it on you know, breads as a spread, it freezes beautifully, you can make it up well in advance, and you can use either fresh or dried herbs. So the first step you wanna do is crush up some garlic, and I have some cherry tomatoes here. I find that the cherry tomatoes are the best tomatoes to use for this, and you're gonna to want to roast them, and make sure you pick a high quality tomato, like an Italian version. The larger variety of tomatoes just doesn't work the same. So the next thing that I want to do is add some melted butter and I'm being extremely generous with this butter. This is what's going to break down those tomatoes and roast that garlic and it's just going to give you a really, really delicious taste. Once you get the tomatoes all nice and coated, you want to go ahead and place this in the oven and the oven should be preheated to 400 degrees and you're going to want to bake these for about an hour. You really want those tomatoes to break down, absorb all that butter, and the garlic to soften up and absorb the butter as well. So you'll get a really nice roasted taste. So up to an hour, depending on your stove. And also be sure to download the recipe file from the project page. That will give you all the specifics. Keep an eye on your tomatoes. You want to check them about halfway through. You'll hear them start to burst and you can see this is about halfway through now and I've got a nice golden brown on the butter and the tomatoes are breaking down as well as the garlic. These are looking good. It's time to pull these out and let them cool and then we will get on to making our sauce. Now that we've let our tomatoes cool down, I am using a food processor and I'm just going to place the tomatoes along with the garlic and some of that crunchy goodness of butter uh, because butter just makes everything taste better <laughs> into the food processor. And again, you want to make sure that you've given your um, tomatoes enough time to cool down. We don't want this to be piping steaming hot. You want to be able to you know handle the vegetables and you know keep in mind we're going to be putting butter into this so we want this to be cooled down now i'm going to add a little bit of kosher salt to the tomatoes and i'm using like i said a kosher salt you could also use a sea salt if you'd like and i'm just going to give this a good blitz Now that I've given my tomatoes and roasted garlic a good blitz, I'm going to start adding in my butter. And you want to use room temperature butter for this. I'm also using unsalted butter because I already put salt into the recipe. So if you uh, don't have unsalted butter on hand, then just omit the kosher salt or the sea salt depending on which type you use and, and, and then you can use the salted butter. So again, room temperature and we're just gonna add this in. Um, I'm gonna be adding in, um, for a full recipe, I would add in two sticks of butter, but I'm actually making a half a recipe today, so I'm only gonna put in one stick of butter. So be sure to consult the project file because it does have the full downloadable recipe in there. So I wanna take a look at how we're doing here. It looks like we've got some uh, redder spots still, but it looks like we're getting a good paste. I'm just going to pop the top off here so we can get a better look. Yep, this is looking good. So this is definitely turning into a nice buttery paste. I'll go ahead and blitz this just for a little while longer to uh, work down some of the um, tomato that hasn't been incorporated. All right, this is looking perfect. We are done. This is exactly what you want your sauce to look like tastes delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to a bowl now. Um, from here you could wrap it up in some wax paper and throw it in a Ziploc bag and throw it in the freezer or in the refrigerator and let it set up. Um, or if you've already got pasta ready, you can go ahead and um, toss it. I want to show you one more thing that you can do with this. I haven't added any herbs yet, so I want to talk a little bit about that. 
So let's talk about herbs. For this particular sauce, you want to make sure that if you're using fresh herbs, so in this case I'm using um, some fresh basil, and this I just got at the grocery store. It's already chopped up for you and it tends to keep quite long in the fridge. But if, you're, you, if you are using fresh herbs, whether it's from a package or you're chopping them up, you do want to add them after. So I'm just folding these in. Otherwise, if you do it while it's in the food processor and they're fresh, it's gonna change the color of your uh, sauce. So just keep that in mind. If you do wanna put herbs straight into it when it is in the food processor, just use some dried herbs. I like to sometimes divide this out so I can put you know, fresh parsley in one and basil in another. Um, but you can really play around with your herb combinations for this. And um, again, just you know, be mindful that fresh, if you put it in the food processor, it will change the color. Be sure to check out my video on homemade pasta. Uh, you'll be able to see how I toss this with homemade fresh pasta. Now keep in mind when you toss it with fresh pasta, you wanna use pasta that you just cooked and that is nice and warm. It will meld with the pasta and create a delicious sauce. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and until next time, make it sweet or savory, but always delicious.